it's it's really stereotypical for kids who are interested in engineering to say this, but my parents bought me Linux, and I I've always been just obsessed with the little details of building things, and it started from then, and I I was able to build increasingly complicated structures and. Of course, I eventually branched out into other materials, and it's, it's grown. The Marine Technology Society, about 15 years ago, came to MATE and said, uh, we have a generation, perhaps in some cases the first generation really, of engineers who have been working in this uh, discipline, uh, approaching retirement and wondering where all the young engineers are to replace them. They just weren't there. And uh, they weren't coming out of college. They weren't coming into companies. This contest came about as a means uh, for students to get interested and hopefully um, then follow that passion uh, all the way through school and into industry. This year's international competition is in Alpena, Michigan, right on the Great Lakes, which is in close proximity to a lot of shipwrecks, which makes it perfect for this year's theme. We're definitely more prepared than we've ever been before. We've done a lot of practicing and the ROV systems are much more reliable than anything we've had before, and that just makes us feel a lot more confident. Whatever happens, I know I say this every year, but whatever happens, you really should be proud that you've made it this far. And remember, it's the learning experience, right? It's the journey. It's not whether you go home with first place, although that would be nice, I recognize that. But remember, it's the learning experience. I hope regardless of what happens, you leave here having had a fantastic experience, energized for improvements for next year, lots of good new ideas for next year, and lots of great new friends, lots of great new friends and contacts. Um, give yourself a round of applause. The, the range of designs is wide because teams, while they're given the same tasks, all have different ideas about ways to solve those tasks. When you go look at the different implementations of thrusters and tethers and vehicle frames, it's fairly wide. Um, and, and that's one of the things that I think our participants uh, appreciate about the, this, this MATE ROV contest. And I can't tell you how many times I've walked through the tent and overheard one group of young folks from one team looking at a ROV of another team and asking, hey, how did you do that? I, I tried to do that and I just, what, what was your secret? My, my favorite part about the MAKE competition is the seeing of the other people's vehicles at the competition. So like most of the year we spend very much in our own world. You know, we, we build the vehicle and we do all this development. So when you actually get to the competition and you see the other vehicles, you get to see some of their development in their vehicles and their problem solving. It's really rewarding to be able to see not only your own challenges and how you overcome them, but how people did overcome their own challenges with their systems. And it, it's very inspiring because it, it can give us things to work towards and things that we might want to try or things that are like, Oh, no way we're doing that. That did not work. You might have to
the ramp and straight up. There will be other teams lined up here, so I will tell them to get out of your way. But my goal is to run on time, if not a little bit fast today, but that all depends on you guys coming at your stations very quickly. Okay, any questions? You have this. Did you see the picture I took this one on the I think the the general sense from all the people in industry that I've interacted with um, is this is valuable. Um, I had dinner last night with someone from the Pacific Northwest who uh, found, founded a company, an uh, ocean technology company, and uh, has remained active in that business for a long time. And he basically said, we just can't stop. Whatever it takes to keep this thing going so these kids keep getting this experience is, is important. On the shipwreck. All right. Okay. Lost it out of the way. It's been my real pleasure and honor to be coming here and working with Jill and Deirdre and all of you for so many years. I feel very blessed. So I've established this award. Called Martin Klein Lake Nile Award to try to encourage either an individual or a group that at this thing shows a great deal of passion, interest in the field, and a, and a potential for future success in being one of the leaders. Our, our winner this year is a, a group called Amino Company. Yeah!